Hi everyone! In this video, I would like to show you how to combine trial balances using XLOOKUP. In the past, I would have done a similar video using VLOOKUP, but since then, Microsoft introduced XLOOKUP, and I'm hoping that this video helps you make the switch from using VLOOKUP to XLOOKUP. So let's get started. Here, I have two trial balances. I have a 2023 trial balance and a 2024 trial balance. So my goal is to put these two balances side by side so we can see the movement in each account from 2023 to 2024. So if I want my trial balances side by side, I'm going to want all the figures for 2024 in one column and all the figures for 2023 in another column. So let's try to combine the debits and credits into one column. To do this in both years, we're going to take away the credits from the debits. So now that I have the balances combined in one column, I can simply copy and paste values only. Control C, Control V, values only. And I'll do the same thing in both years. And I can delete the original columns. If I'm going to show them side by side, I'll want to show that this column has 2023 information. So I'll just put 2023 here. And similarly, I'll put 2024 here. So we're going to use XLOOKUP now to pull the information from 2023's trial balance into 2024's trial balance. To do this, we're going to put the cursor next to the first account number and we're going to pull it across looking for the account number in 2023 right so we're going to go equal x lookup and they're asking me for the lookup value so i'm looking for the account number and i go across to 2023 to find the lookup array so i'm looking for the account number in this set of cells And then I'm looking for, when I look for it in this set of cells, I'm returning these corresponding cells. So these are the figures that are going to come up. So it's similar to VLOOKUP, except there's the flexibility of not having to have the column you're searching in being on the far left. Even though it is here, it doesn't necessarily have to be on the far left. These cells that you're going to return can be anywhere on your sheet right so it also gives you the option that if it's not found to return a figure so normally if i'm comparing current year to prior year i'll return a figure of zero so what that will tell me is if the account number is not there last year it will give me a zero balance so this is 2023 just going to drag this down oops before i do we want to lock the references of the range we used so i'm just going to press f4 i'm going to drag this down now All right so what you'll notice is that my trial balance for 2023 doesn't balance and that's because there is an account number in 2023 that's not in 2024. To find the account that's missing, we're going to go into 2023 and do one last XLOOKUP formula. So we're going to go across to 2023 and we're going to do a similar XLOOKUP formula. We're looking for the account number from 2023 in 2024. So we're looking for this in these cells. We're returning 2024. And if not found, 
I wanted to see not in 2024. Right? So I'm going to put that in quotations. Not in 2024. So if I drag this formula down, it's going to show me that this account is not in 2024. So I'm going to go in my combined trial balance on the 2024 tab and enter this account so my number for 2023 can pull across. So the name of the account is 109 Rental Deposits. So we'll put that right here. I'm going to copy it. Paste him. And then I just need to put a zero for 2024 and then copy down the formula for 2023. So now my trial balance comes back to zero. So if you'll notice when I click into the XLOOKUP formula, it's going to have a lot of other options and components that I can use in the XLOOKUP formula itself. For the purposes of this video, we'll only need to use up to if not found. However, if you would like to see how the full XLOOKUP formula works and all the components that go along with it, I do have another video and I would add a link to that video in the description below. So as you can see, XLOOKUP is a lot more user friendly and flexible than VLOOKUP and I hope that this encourages you to use XLOOKUP going forward. In my next video, I'd like to show you how to compare two trial balances and identify the adjustments that were made. I'd also like to show you how to easily track the adjustments from one version of a trial balance to another. Thank you. Enjoy.